or Echo Quest or however the hell they want to call it. I, the game is really stuck on whatever the wrong way is. So I might as well, I might as well finish, you know, I might, I might as well finish what it started and call it what it thinks is the appropriate name. We're going to finish this trash pile. Uh, it's not a trash pile. That's, that's very aggressive. It's, it's like great, but trash pile is so strong. Anyway, so last time we got out. Oh, I get it. <laughs> because they, because there's trash. I, uh. Delphinius looks like he's anxious to be out on the open reef. Anyways, last time we saved the city of Illyria and now we are out looking for the king. So we should have enough time to get through the rest of the game. I, I think we won't have a problem. So let's, let's get going. Uh, if you're wondering what happened last time, nothing of consequence. We, we helped the city save themselves. I'm going to go over and take this from the damsel, f excuse me, the damselfish, so it stops making that noise. Can you stand it? These little fish just love mirrors. They think there's another fish in there. I'm glad I'm one of the higher mammals. Are there, are the fish racist? Are there racist fish? The damselfish is startled by Adam's approach. She gives up looking at the other fish I guess in the it mirror and swims away. I guess it'd be more classist, wouldn't it? Adam picks up the old rearview mirror and puts it away. You're invested. Hey, cool. Good. Glad to hear it, Kitty. The other day, using something like that to attract the fish. Nice to find somebody who wants to make friends rather than collect us. Dolphy, trust me, bud. If people knew that you could talk. You would be in a cage so fast. A discarded doll rests on the sand here. Icky. Is that what I think it is? What do you mean? No, don't worry. It's just a statue. Actually, what we call lawn art. What the hell did you think it was? What did you think it was? What did you think it, what did you think it was? You're divested? I, I know. What do you mean? I mean, I know what the word divested means Spoil. in some contexts. Well, the flamingo would say that if it could. Adam puts the plastic flamingo in the garbage bag. The sodden doll goes into the garbage bag. Let's take the teddy bear. The old teddy bear has nothing to contribute to Adam's adventures. Oh, but everything else does. This is what cracks me up about adventure games. It, it, it's not the fact that you can't take everything that isn't nailed down. That's fine. The, the fact that it's like... They, they throw in little smarmy things like, this couldn't possibly be useful. Bitch, let me pull out my inventory. I've got a radar transmitter for no reason and a whole bunch of other crap. I got an oily rag. Is that going to be useful in my journey? No, I'll just throw Adam it in the trash the bag. Into the garbage bag. Um, is there any more trash? The tire is half buried in the sand and Adam can't bag it. Anyway, someone's living there. Someone is? Somebody heaved an old tire over the side probably some time ago, since it's half buried in the sand. On looking more closely, Adam sees that a few fish have made a permanent home in it. Oh, I see. Ooh, weird. Let me look at that. He's looking for you who, Finn? Blow me away. It's a flashlight fish. He's one of those nocturnal types, so I don't know what he's doing there. Nocturnal? Oh, come on, Adam. Yeah, comes out at night, lives down deep during the day. I, I don't... wonder why he didn't go home. Something must have happened. I don't believe that you don't know what the word nocturnal means. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go in and grab that fish. Adam doesn't want to scare the fish. Talking to him won't help, Adam. Only the creatures of Illyria have the power of speech. Oh, fun fact. We're not going to have a whole lot more talking critters. Oh, I see. Polka dot shorts are no longer in fashion, it seems. There's one more underwear to grab. Adam doesn't like underwear covered with polka dots. What is your problem with polka dots? It's not the underwear the that's the problem. The underwear goes into the garbage bag. What's wrong with polka dots? Good job. Adam wins the Recycle Champ Award. All right, we got to go to the right. Uh, we can't do anything with the flashlight fish. Nocturnal emissions. I've never, you know, I've, I, I, I think I've mentioned this before, and it's probably TMI, but the whole thing, you know what? That is too TM, TMI. It's way too TMI. I'm just going to not say anything. You can just infer things from context. The pirate ghost has the job of guarding the treasure. The pirate chief made sure he wouldn't quit. 
Oh, did he? A pirate crew left its treasure in this secret spot. They installed a security system before they left. A pirate ghost. Your the pirate ghost. The pirate loot was stored in this chest. Maybe the pirates lost their claim ticket or something. Pirate ghost sucks because I'm about to take his stuff. Dreaming of pirate treasure, Adam opens the chest. A tiny blue crab has been napping in the chest. He scuttles away to find new shelter. I guess he was napping. Not a good place for it. <laughs> I guess he was napping. And for your junk don't work no more, uh, there there can be whatever inferences empty, you want. The crab. Someone else but, has uh, been here recently. Unless, of course, you believe in hundred-year-old crabs. I, I, you know, things are working just fine downstairs. I'm going to crank the Roar TV like 50 channels. It's going to break for a minute. There we go. Okay. I, I just moved it way along in the rotation. Uh, nothing inside of the treasure chest. No doubt this is a skeleton key. Ex what? That's just a pun, right? That's not a real skeleton no key. No doubt this is a skeleton key. The key's stuck under the pike tip. Pike tip. Okay, gotta gank on it. You did get it snipped, so it certainly ain't a hundred percent. I mean, again, probably TMI, but the 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 wiener works just fine. It's the it's the Vaughn's deference. I think I uh, that, felt it give a little. Yeah, Adam. What about the uh, video game we're doing? He's stuck under the. Pike. I know. <laughs> Just grab the thing. The pike snaps into pieces, and the key goes flying into the water. <laughs> Meanwhile, Delphinius is desk down at the bottom. What you doing? Adam's dolphin pal Delphinius always looks like he's grinning. Guess why they call this a tube sponge? The key has fallen to the sand here. Out of nowhere, a lurking fish darts forward. Hey! hey you give that back! Some he bitch! Swallowed he swallowed it! I can't believe it! <laughs> and other things I heard After in my dorm Adam, room. What a pig! You ready the for a fish streaks across the reef toward the east? Ready for a dramatic chase scene? Let's go get that fish. Let's go get that fish. I'm gonna get that fish right after I take this thing. Adam picks up the brightly colored fishing lure. And then we're gonna get that fish. Hello, you some bitch. Hello. Let's stab him. Spear fishing is out of the question. My ass it is. Adam can't bag the fish, it's too fast. Can I can I uh stab him with the lionfish spear? That's an interest that that won't stop the redfish. What else can I do? Nothing interesting. I can I use the lure? The redfish eyes the fishing lure, but decides it's the wrong flavor. Okay. Yoink! Psych! The redfish takes off again. Yep, yeah, back here! Yep! Yeah. What's what's going on in the music? <laughs> Oops. That just said redfish is continuing off to the left. Where'd he go? Rats, we lost him. Where'd he go? Don't know, Adam, but I do know he's packing iron. Hello, oh, that dog. Get a load of that dog. Oh, the redfish instantly got eaten by an by a anemone. The anemone heaves with discomfort. Clearly, he's bitten off more than he can chew. That's not how anemones eat. The anemone. Oh, good. There's like an automatic burp button. Uh, I grabbed that lure because we can uh, use the lure to. The brightly colored fishing lure has lost its hook and is now harmless. It still looks like dinner to fish, though. I'm pretty sure I can use it in here. Adam moves the bright fishing lure in front of the anemone. I'm not sure why this works. Don't ask me why this works. I guess that'll show him to get grabby. 
I have no idea why using the fishing lure on that anemone makes him burp up the, the key. Gross me out. It's just a, it's just a key that was in an anemone. Adam picks who cares? Up the key and tries not to think about where it's been. Oh, I mean, it was also in a fish, but who? Again, who cares? If there's so much ocean, and you're worried about things that were inside of a fish's gut, what do we got over here? Lettuce coral does resemble its vegetable counterpart. However, it's an animal. If you actually cared about a lot of uh, ocean information, there actually is quite a Pillar bit. Pillar coral is that color at this depth. Coral changes color and size depending on the depth where it grows. The skeleton of the brain coral has some interesting openings. Meanwhile, the very obvious thing over in the corner. What are the you? The large shape is huddled in the lair, but Adam can't see it clearly. A coiled piece of wire can be seen at the mouth of the dark opening. Excellent. On, Oops. A on looking closer, Adam sees that it's really part of a long cable. I'm taking it. Oh no, it was an a octopus. The tentacle firmly grabs Adam's wrist. Oh no, I'm going to die. Hey, let go of me. Yow, it's an octopus. We've disturbed his lair. <laughs> They're these his lair. Dudes. They like to live by themselves. Really antisocial. They'll defend their territory against anyone, especially another octopus. Octopus fighting is not a pretty sight. All those tentacles, you know. I have to admit, he's got a strong grip. Oh God, my 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 hand, uh, my hand. Ow, ow. So the thing that uh, Delphinius just mentioned is that they love to fight other squids or other octopus, especially. Adam is carrying a mirror. In the mirror, he sees himself. Uh, before we do that, though, there is something I would like to do. Right over here, I've got this uh, bottle that we've had ever since we swam through the bilge. Adam is carrying a clear glass jar. There's a lid on the jar. And it's really, it's really stuck on tight. Adam struggles to remove the lid of the jar, but it's stuck on fast. It will take a stronger grip than Adam's to remove that lid. We 100% don't want to consider fish on their own merits. I don't know. Um, isn't there a dogfish? There is a dogfish, isn't there? There's obviously a catfish. Uh, but we can use this little metal jar here. Adam can't use that ob- We can use it on the what octopus. What did I tell you? Octopi are really hung up. I doubt he'll touch it while you're watching. Better hide. And then we can leave the screen. And then we can come back. And he'll have opened up the bottle because he's an octopus. Adam picks up the open jar but keeps one eye on the octopus. <laughs> Again, I don't really remember how you're supposed to know that other than... Oh, because he has a tight grip. The clear glass jar is now open. It's still empty, though. Yeah, no shit. I haven't put anything in it. So, like, uh, like the dolphin said before, they really like to fight other octopuses. Adam so. is carrying a mirror. In the mirror, he sees himself. Contrary to everything we know about octop octopuses, they apparently are dumb because they're about to fight themselves. Adam shines the mirror toward the octopus. The octopus peers into the mirror. Red with rage, he charges out to fight the other octopus. Haven't the octopus, haven't they passed the mirror test? Whoops. The octopus sees Adam, a human. White with fear, he shoots a cloud of ink and flees. What do you have to say, Delphinius? You, just like skunks. Actually, like octopi. That ink's supposed to be like a fake octopus to throw you off the track. I think octopi is incorrect, right? Isn't it octopuses? Because it, it's, uh, it, it's Greek. A coil piece on yep, the... Yep, I already knew about that. Adam reaches down and pulls out the cable. A gleaming wire. I'm beginning to get an idea about what the oracle meant. So we're picking up pieces of the prophecy that the oracle was talking about. This is the prophecy. A gleaming wire will help you in a place most dire. So we're looking for a gleaming wire, which we just picked up. A wall of stones. A wall of stones, which will be coming up soon. A net of bones. A net of bones. From the depths, a glowing light. 
Armor for a modern knight. Only love can face the one most vile. To save us all, a human child. Only... I think it's uh, Octopussies. Okay, so something up above is screeching help at us. So let's see if we can get up there. Oh, horrible. This must be the net of bones in the Oracle's prophecy. Oh, it's this little crab over here. It's a little lobster. That little lobster over there is still moving. Why, that's Persephone, Demeter's daughter. So that's what happened to her. Well, that's convenient. Also, look over here. This tiny little shark in the corner with the X for eyes. It's like, aww. Do you think you could get her out, Adam? I already know my flippers are useless against that drift net. You got it. Where's my, where's my pokey stick? The lobster doesn't care about anything right now except getting free. And that's not going to help Adam free the lobster. Okay. Like I said, the most useful item we have in the game is the sharp shell. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Easy now. Don't pinch me. Wait, I thought that all of the citizens of Illyria could talk. So is Persephone's Persephone, daughter? You better go home now. Can she not talk? Demeter. She's been worried sick. Good going, Adam. At least you have the thumbs for the job. And if that's not true, wouldn't Dolphy, wouldn't he also lose his ability of speech every time he left D Illyria? A family of dolphins died in the net. Rip. Is that your is that your family, is it bud? Dolphinius, just like the one you were caught in before you came to my dad's lab. Why do men create things like this, Adam? I just don't understand. Oh, economic benefit and uh, feeding families. It's used for commercial fishing. The, there are floats there, at the top and go. weights at it's the basically bottom to what keep the net vertical in the water. The fishermen leave it out and come back later for their catch. But the net doesn't care what it catches, so dolphins and other creatures that aren't any use to fishermen die too. And the nets sometimes get lost. Like this one. Unattended nets will just float and kill forever. It's like a time bomb that just keeps going off. I'll tell you a secret, Adam. My family died this way. You don't say. At least the Oracle told me she saw a net in her visions after they disappeared. You don't say. Hey, uh, Dolphy, I think I found him. Willow, can you point out Dolphy's family? Nope, that's not it. That's me. Uh, try again. Nope. Other side. Nope. <laughs> nope. Have y'all found Cetus? No, we've we've not. We've found Dolphy's dead family, I'm though. I'm sorry, Del. My mom's gone, too. I never she also knew died her, in a net. I miss her a lot. So does my dad. Maybe that's why we make such good friends, Adam. Hey, do you think we could get away from this thing now? So this thing has been around long enough that it is part of the local mythos of the uh, of the for of the uh, ocean creatures. Uh, we've done everything on this scene. The octopus is just gonna chill right here for now. Look at him. He's trying to convince you that he's really a rock. Close, but no cigar, huh? Octopi can change both their color and their texture. I heard of an octopus who had a nervous breakdown trying to make himself look like an oriental rug. That's half true. Uh, they can act. They can actually ta change their texture, which is really cool. Hey, somebody got rid of a statue. Not exactly, Dolphinius. It's a useful object. It's a shitter, Adam. Just tell him what it yeah? does. What's it used for? Never mind. Anyhow, it looks like they could have fixed it. People poop in it. Just people poop in it. The toilet Just... tank is on its side. The lid is jammed over the tank at one corner. Do you think Delphinius is uh, is troubled by the thought of defecation? Uh, we're going to take our big stick and jam it into the toilet. There's no sense in trying that. Shut up. <laughs> Adam places the trident under one corner of the tank lid and yanks. The lid pops off and falls to the sand. The second most useful object in this game is the trident. Uh, what what do we got? The toilet has a broken valve. However, the round rubber float is in good condition. Adam pulls the toilet float from inside the tank. What's this round thing? Oh, I know. It's called a float. Round. Let's see. What does that remind me of? Wait a second. Where are we in the ocean? Because we didn't pass any structures around here. That were, Remember when we came in from the land? We never swam past anything that required columns like this. It's the prophecy again. A floating orb. 
Not what I expected at all. Unless maybe we're going down the other side of Aluria, so maybe... Even the Oracle has a sense of humor, I suppose. You don't even know what that is, Delphinia. Shut up. Adam has removed the float from the toilet tank. All that remains is a broken valve. The broken valve is of no use to Adam. Oh, but the but everything else is. It's so over here. I don't even know what this thing is. Some kind of underwater maintenance vehicle has broken down here. The fish and plants are slowly taking it over. A storage panel is just behind the sodden seats. Oh, this is going to be a sequel to Echo the Dolphin. I've actually con considered playing Echo at some point. The panel is closed. I don't know if I ever am going to. But I might. Please fish making out. There's just no privacy on this reef. We're going back to the city. There's just no privacy at all around this way. Close me out. It's a mess in there. Sorry, Orville. <laughs> Everybody poops. Adam picks up the hammer, but it crumbles into rust. I mean, the dolphin probably just poops anywhere, right? Adam picks up the steel saw. So, just for reference, Adam has in his inventory right now very sharp, uh, very sharp shell, a full-fledged trident, a lionfish spine, a hacksaw. He has four full-fledged weapons of death. Maybe not death, but actually, oh shit, I forgot something. He's got full four things that could actually do some serious damage. I forgot. There was one thing we needed over here. I think we need to use the mirror again. Adam can't catch the year's occupant that way. No, I think I just need to use the bottle. Adam senses some movement inside the ear. The flashlight fish darts into the jar and settles in the bottom. Wow, look at that glowing light, just like the oracle said. Adam carefully places the glowing jar in his backpack. Now, realistically, I doubt they would have let them get away with having this kid have a knife, despite everything I just said. That said, forgetting his, his uh, flashlight is a, is a rookie move. Like, they could probably, might have some issues giving a kid a dive knife, but not having a flashlight, that's a bad move. Also, just as a quick caveat, I don't know how long this game will be running. I think it will run, uh, at least for a bit, but we might end early. I'm not 100%. We'll see. We'll, we'll play as long as the game runs. You forgot his entire Adam, wet. Adam, I can't see where I'm going. Stop Let's yelling get at me! Oh, why was that line so loud? Oh God! I, use the glowfish. Adam holds out the glowing jar. The flashlight fish senses the friendly dark of the cave. Yeah, the uh, the wetsuit's not going to matter very soon. Gathering courage, it swims out of the jar and settles down between two rocks. What a relief. Now I can see where I'm going. I'm pretty sure dolphins are able to see Adam in the dark, the can't they? Jar into his recycle bag. Can't, like, everything but humans pretty much see in the dark? Are the ones that go down the stalagmites or the stalactites? I can't ever remember. There's a trick for remembering that. Can't think of it, though. The stalagmites go up. The stalactites hang down. If you don't know that, you've never played a space quest. Oh, sorry. Good one. The Dead Sea fan looks like a ghostly spider web. Some sort of soft algae has grown all over the walls of the cave. It has an unpleasant smell. Some sort some 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 sort There's something we need to grab in here. Oh, I guess what, what do we got over here? The flashlight fish's steady glow reveals an opening clogged with brownish rocks. It looks almost like a wall of stones. Like in the prophecy. Oh, you guys ready for this? Adam Here. reaches up and pulls on one of the brownish rocks. It falls easily to the floor of the cave. 
A strange green light seeps through the small hole. Maybe if we end super early, we can uh, load up the Beavis and Butthead uh, point and click adventure. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work because I don't think it's subtitled, but I'm not, you know, I'm open to, I'm open to thoughts. We'll see. Another rock pulls out easily. It must not have been there very long. This is gameplay. Hey, those are coming out. No problemo. Yeah, it feels more to me like somebody put these here. Crack your eyes open uh, every time Adam's eyes. I don't ever actually look at Adam. I need to actually look at his portrait when he's talking. I, I'm usually not looking at them when they're talking. I'm usually looking at whatever it is they're doing. The greenish color of the water intensifies as the rocks come out. I feel like if someone put these here, first of all, you shouldn't be cave diving. I need to take a look at your, oh shit, he got rid of his, uh, his diver card that he got in the first, uh, in the first session we did the other day. He, I don't know if he's a certified cave diver. I think something's happening to the water, Adam. I'm getting dizzy. My sonar feels a little off or something. Should I stop? No, we've got to find out what's on the other side. Well, I mean, has the water... Have the stones really been stopping the water from flowing back and forth? It seems like they're not even that tightly packed in, Delphinius. Gameplay. The light strikes something hidden behind the rocks. This would have been a great like mini game to uh, to use some copy protection. Like, how many rocks exactly do you need to pull out? And if you pull out any more than that, it kills your character. A metal box has been concealed in the pile of rocks. Bummer! It's locked. Bummer! Too bad I've got a key. The key turns halfway in the lock and then stops. It seems that salt water has rusted the mechanism. Shit. Okay. Well, I've got an oily rag. It's not the key which needs oiling. <laughs> Adam eases the lock with the oily rag. We reduce the flate the, the flate of row. <laughs> Bad at talking today. I, I feel like it's something that Delphinius wouldn't notice at the at <laughs> this quickly you know maybe i'm wrong uh that's not the right thing grab the key the key turns smoothly in the oiled lock the box pops open to reveal a suit of protective clothing awesome i'm gonna leave Bizarre. what is it i've seen clothes like this they protect your skin from chemicals it is in fact a dirty rag armor Katie. for a modern night do you suppose this is it now I'm gonna continue pulling out rocks. No, it's ah, so there it is. There. That's what I, I was waiting for. Things that you can't, and I have a very bad feeling about this. You need more protection to swim into water like that. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> he gets so no. <laughs> the light strikes something hidden behind the rocks. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, a metal box has been concealed in the pile of rocks. We don't have a wetsuit, but we do. Get this. A full on. Adam feels an immediate relief. Whatever was in the water was making it really hard to think. Hazmat Adam, suit. I can't go any farther. Whatever is in this water is really affecting me. I'll wait right here as long as I can take it. Adam signals okay to Delphinius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Did a Sayori just hang herself? Lie rusting in this hidden spot. A familiar greenish glow seeps from the rusting patches in the middle. Now Adam realizes what the oracle meant by poison of the deep. Oh no. What do they do? The deadly poison which lurks in the drums has been slowly released into the water, bringing disaster to the reef. <laughs> I'd better filter it all out. <laughs> Where's my filter? 
The barrels are hopelessly contaminated. That won't help. That's an the bar What if I do can I do anything to the barrels? The bar No, okay. So I've been collecting bits and bobs for the thing that my uh that was on the blackboard back at home. Um, so I need to put together the sonar transmitter. I picked up the bobber from the toilet and the metal coil from the octopus. I'm going to combine those. Adam attaches the float to the cable. He now has a working buoy. I mean, it's full-ish. It's a protective suit, I guess. The strongest gust of wind was recorded at Mount Washington Observatory at 231 miles an hour. That's not a gust. I mean, I guess it technically is, but that's more like a gale. Adam attaches the transmitter to the float at the end of the cable. Dad's going to be so happy that I learned how to do his thing. The cable now has the float and transmitter attached to it. The float will make one end of the cable rise to the surface, while the other end can be attached to something on the ocean floor. The transmitter will produce a satellite signal. I'm going to attach this to this. That's a really annoying sound. Adam turns on the transmitter and attaches his improvised satellite buoy to the barrel. The float rises toward the surface. The transmitter is emitting a constant, powerful signal. Yeah, we know. We could hear it. Hey, I wonder if it's that same fisherman. Also, these guys, immediately ready to party. Adam watches from a distance as the divers carefully collect the drums. Grimly, they bear them to the surface and stow them on the boat for safe disposal on land. Adam gives the metal box and suit as evidence of illegal dumping. He returns to the reef to find Delphinius and continue the search for Cetus. This is wildly unrealistic. What, what would really happen is uh, this kid would go down there and say, look at all these drums I found, and the government would say, you're getting fined for removing the rocks we, we put in place to uh, stop people from finding the drums. Also, horse Adam, you did actual shit. There's skeletons on the ground. There's no way this cave is not contaminated. You are just bareballing it. You, you have skin exposed. You're taking it away. That's true. But I'm afraid it will be a long time before anything can survive here. Then why are you in the cave? You have to worry about catching the people who did this. It looks to me like they've been using this spot for a while. Unfortunately, nothing has been seeping into the walls. That's something I'll have to leave up to my dad. And we still haven't found Cetus. Yeah, I think we've been screwing around and not even, not even looking for the, not even looking for the king. Oh my God, you're gonna get cancer. You're both getting eight kinds of cancer from this room. We need to get you out of here. What do we got? Far in the distance is a cave mouth. It looks like a gaping wound. Adam's dolphin pal, Delphinius. Hey, Delphinius. Did I mention that the word dolphin comes from the Greek word delphinos? I'm so glad that we talked. The harpoon gun is a reminder of the dreadful practice of whale hunting. This one has been triggered. Whale hunting, you say? The cable from the harpoon is still attached to the gun. The hell, you say? The gun is jammed from its last firing. Uh, let's go check it out. Let's save real quick. Let's go check out what's going on here. It's stuck. The cable's really wedged in there. Um. <laughs> ominous music aside, let's try and pry the door open. Adam, I don't like the looks of it here. What's the matter? Adam. Uh. <laughs> Good read, Delphi. Eater, run! Oh no! So yeah, you remember that? Uh, Adam and Delphinius flee in terror from the huge flesh-eating monster. Remember that manta ray that everybody was 
It looks really dumb in the cutscenes. With a feeling of utter helplessness, Adam prepares to feel the sharp bite of Flesh Eater's jaws. The monster is so close that his hot wake ruffles the back of Adam's neck. Oh no! In panic terror of the danger behind them, Adam and Delphinius fail to notice the danger in front of them. They both plow head first into the drift net. The nylon mesh wraps its arms around them. The two are trapped. Delphinius, we're trapped. <laughs> Delphinius is like, again, how many nets do you guys have? Adam, you've got to save yourself. I'll never get out of this thing, but you still have a chance. I won't leave you, Del. So what? We both end up manta food? Do it, Adam. Save yourself. Adam waits for the manta to finish them off. Two helpless victims trapped in the net. To his surprise, Flesh Eater only circles them. What? Well, yeah, why wouldn't he? Just wait for you both to suffocate. Um, can I use the hacksaw? The Adam can't wield that hacksaw while he's entangled. It's too big. Besides, the hacksaw is too dangerous to use so close to Adam's flesh. Again, we're going to use one of the best items in the game. We got to we got to cut it out, or, or cut our way out with the shell. Begins to rub it against the nylon net. Could you count things like tornadoes and hurricanes? The loosening the net's grasp on Adam. He's free. I would have to assume that if you were taking something like the strongest wind gust, like using something like a tornado would be, you know, cheating. You did it, Adam. Now get out of here fast. Are you crazy? What kind of friend do you think I am? Adam turns back frantically to cut loose his friend. Uh, but a sudden gust says... <laughs> but before he can free Delphinius, Flesh Eater swoops in. Enraged to see one of his victims escape and determined not to lose the other, he seizes the net with poor Delphinius still in it and knocks Adam aside with one flick of his huge wing. Why doesn't... Why doesn't he just kill Adam now? Adam, find Cetus. Only he can save me now. You should probably save your breath. You've got nine minutes. Adam finds himself suddenly alone. The drift net with its precious cargo and the monster are gone. What on earth, Adam thinks, can he do now? And will he ever see Delphinius again? By the way, we're definitely not getting a hundred points, unfortunately. I don't think that I, like, you know, looked at something that I was supposed to, so I'm probably not going to get the full point range. Uh, can I just go straight in? They're justifying going through the cave in the dark, which you should never do, even if you're an experienced cave diver, which I really doubt that Adam is. All right, so back to what we were doing. A modern harpooning vessel has rammed into the reef shelf. Only the prow is visible. We're going to pick out our big, uh, our big harpoon. Adam can't do anything with the ship's cabin. Is a tornado Adam not made of wind? Under the crack of the bloated ship's door and pushes on the handle as hard as he can. I mean, then you just say anything, any wind that's, that's, uh altered by the presence of a funnel cloud or a funnel formation. I don't know. There, there's there's ways the they could justify wood suddenly it. suddenly gives way, and the door pops free of its frame. The cable that had been jammed under the door suddenly jerks tight as though pulled by a mighty weight. And through the open ship's door, Adam hears a sound. A sound unmistakably sad, unmistakably deep, Unmistakably haunting. Unmistakably horny. Unmistakably a whale's call. And that. Ow! The whale call is louder here. It's echoing down from somewhere above the ship. <laughs> and Adam so. Adam his breath with anticipation and swims up to investigate. Roughly a mile away from Aluria. Following the taut cable up and up towards the surface light. Well within distance of viewing of everybody. Up and up, not looking where he's going. 
until suddenly is a whale. Whoa! It's Cetus. Day. Well, bye. <laughs> Adam follows the cable back down. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I guess that makes sense. There's a rack of harpoons on the cabin wall. One appears to be missing. Adam examines the harpoons. Each harpoon has... Oh, who cares? Harpoons are harpoons. Harpoons are bad. Adam follows <laughs> the cable up to King Cetus. No. Step, step, step. Help Cetus. Step, step, step. There's a much simpler way to get into Cetus's mouth. Swim further away. Oh, we're... Uh... We, we should probably talk to him first before we talk about getting into his Your mouth. Your Majesty, you're hurt. No wonder you've been missing. You're trapped here by that harpoon. <laughs> the king's like, I can see the entire town. Yes, child. And you are the one foretold. I fear you may be too late. Yeah, sorry about that. We were, uh... We were picking up trash and doing puzzles. Well, what happened? How did you get harpooned? It was flesh eater. Eater. Cry out and went to help. He tricked me into the whaler's pet. So the king has been speared long enough to be part of the local mythos. Can't you get free? You can't just die. Illyria needs you. Oh yeah, those harpoons broke all the time. The harpoon holds me fast. I cannot get it out of my mouth. My I mouth. So weak. I have not long. I know that I'm a broken record, but these voices used to sound so much better. Cetus sinks into unconsciousness and his great eye shuts. The harpoon wound has become infected, and he is near starvation from being trapped in this one spot. Cetus is getting weaker by the moment. I mean, you're right. Don't you think all he really has to do is just sort of, you know, swim away? I don't know. Maybe he's worried about infection. Uh, so what we need to do is we can take our hacksaw and we can cut this side Cutting off. Cutting the harpoon at this end would be useless since the barbed head would still be in Cetus's mouth. Never mind, I'm jumping the gun a bit. Get up there. I have to, I have to go at just the right time. Adam decides to make a dash for Cetus's moving mouth. Perfect. That's going into Cetus's Adam esophagus. Adam uses the industrial saw to cut through the harpoon shaft. The barbed harpoon head falls to the bottom of the sea. The whale's mouth is like a large cavern covered with barnacles. Adam doesn't need to go down the whale's throat. This is EcoQuest, not Pinocchio. He wonders briefly if the whale has any ambergris in its stomach. Oh, they're talking about ambergris. Stop talking about the king if the king has any ambergris. Adam can't pull the harpoon out from inside the mouth. The cable is still attached to the boat below. Okay, so I need to get out then. Let's get out here. From here, Adam can see that unconscious Cetus's jaw has grown slack. His mouth opens and closes in a regular rhythm. He moves to the Adam rhythm. Adam decides to get closer to the outside of the whale. Moves to the rhythm. So now we can yank this out. Adam carefully works the shaft backwards through the wound. Thought you were playing Echo. What? This is the second person. That, I, I'm sorry. Was I not clear? This is the search. For, it's not your fault. But this is the second time. Like that. This is not Echo. This is this is Echo Quest. Do I need to play Echo? Echo. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at this death red wound, also hybrid. Though the harpoon has been removed, it has left a nasty wound. 
The wound is infected and is preventing Cetus from recovering. We're unfortunately almost done. So now, oh, so here's the thing. He is infected, but we do have this. Adam is carrying the healing potion that Demeter, the guardian of the greens, gave him. According to Demeter, this is the last dose of a miraculous potion that was made of now extinct sea plants. Well, Brad should know, because we used to play this as kids, but fair enough for everyone else, I guess. Adam uses Demeter's precious store of medicine on the wound. Thank you for the THC rub, uh, Adam. Uh, we didn't need this in real time. Could have sped this one up. You scrubbed, you scrubbed a seagull clear of oil faster Cetus, than this you're awake are you feeling okay are you gonna make it be calm child i am much better better i feel the wound already healing you have saved me it was nice they were able to get to get john travolta for now this. that you're better we have to save Dolphinius. flesh eater took him and he's in terrible danger his name is Delphinius. flesh eater it is time to end the killing. I will call him forth. You must go rescue the dolphin. Can you get these barnacles off my face? <laughs> Meanwhile... Delphinius is reliving the nightmare of being trapped in a drift net, unable to reach the surface for air, unable to free himself. This time, however, Flesh Eater is there to add to his terror as he circles the dolphin, Waiting for his victim's struggles to cease. The second time in as many weeks where Delphinius is trapped in a net. Stop getting trapped in nets, guy. You're a talking dolphin. You are sapient. You don't have a ton of excuses. Just as Delphinius arrives at a grim acceptance of his fate, a challenge echoes from outside the lair. Rise, cowardly one. Leave your foul lair and prepare to meet your doom. Your doom. No more shall you trouble my people, for Cetus has returned. I think he said his own name wrong. <laughs> for Cetus has returned. Also, why does, why can't Flesh Eater just be like, no? I'll, I'll meet I'll meet you in about five minutes after I kill an Ethus dolphin. Enraged that the great king has escaped his prison, Flesh Eater wheels from the cave. Or I guess that makes sense if he's just mad. Look at this tiny little dolphin, or this tiny little whale. He's so adorable. <laughs> Go into the lair, save the dolphin while you can. What? Before it's too late. So real talk, this this song is kind of sick. It's it's better done in a uh, remastered version, but this song is pretty amazing. It, it is a sixth beat. Dolphy will be fine. Don't worry. Anyways. Cetus is trying hard to keep up with Flesh Eater, but he's weakened from his recent ordeal and lack of food. Cetus is losing ground in the battle. Flesh Eater shrewdly concentrates his attacks on the whale's harpoon wound, and Cetus in return seems unable to land a solid blow against his quick-moving opponent. Despite his bravery, Cetus clearly could use some help. Flesh Eater is crazed and vicious. Enraged that Cetus has escaped his trap, he's exploiting <laughs> Cetus' weakness by attacking the fresh harpoon wound. How did you get out of my very small toothpick? There seems to be a pattern to his attack. Is that right? I I'll help you. Adam doesn't want. I mean, look. Adam's done all he can. No, I want. Adam does. Adam's. 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 Adam's done. No, I don't want to. Though once an Illyrian. The toxic waste has mutated Flesh Eater beyond all sense of reasoning. He does not speak. Screw it, fine. There's supposed to be a thing where he's like, don't now try to help me. Distracted by the mighty whale. It's like, go he's help the to dolphin. The beast's lair. And it's not working, so screw it. Also, no ads today. Uh, 
I guess what we need to do is stab him with a harpoon. Cutting the net with a trident would injure Delphinius. Uh, what else can we do? We can hacksaw him. The hacksaw is too clumsy a tool to cut the net. Delphinius would be badly hurt. I mean, maybe if you suck at it, just cut it, cut it gently. Time to harp, spear him. The venom carried in the spine would paralyze Delphinius. Then he'd never get to the surface for air. Not with that attitude, he wouldn't. Also, time to use out best item in the game for the last time: the sharp, the sharp uh, shell. Oh man, I'm glad you showed up. I'm about ready to suffocate. Has it been nine minutes yet? I'm pretty sure it's been more than nine minutes. He should I be hate well this dead. Nylon stuff. I'm cutting as fast as I can. Hold on, Dolphinis, just another second. I promise. I'm out here to grab some air, dude. Can't stop the chat. I'll see you outside. God, such a good song. Meanwhile, Cetus is losing ground in the battle. Uh, we saw this already. So there's uh, something small and sharp would be useful. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, agreed. What, what, what can we use on old, on old uh, Flesh Eater? Let's use the hacksaw on flesh him. Flesh Eater would never stand still for the length of time it would take to do any real damage with that saw. Besides, that would be gross. <laughs> be gross. Um, can I use Sharp Shell on him? That would barely scratch the... That would barely... That would... That would... Your bar... That won't... All right. The gun is jammed from its last firing. Oh, there you go. What if I just, like, leave? Can I just, like, leave? No, I can't leave. So I've really only got the one option, which is to use the lionfish spear. Or the lionfish, uh... Adam thing. arms himself with a tiny lionfish spine. spine. That's the word I'm looking and for. with all the courage he can muster, and heads towards the black monster. While the manta is distracted by Cetus... Adam manages to get close to one huge black wing and pierce the tough hide with the lionfish spine. There's a moment of terror in which Adam is sure the poison will not be enough to even slow down the huge beast. But it's enough to make him hesitate in his attack, if only for a moment. I think a lionfish spine full force would probably hurt him more than just a momentary hesitation, but who am I? And that moment is enough. <laughs> Look at Flesh Eater here, he's just like eight pixels. That's what I should uh that's what I should have proared. With that Phoenix, line of black really pixels you. there. And you killed Flesh Eater. Unbelievable. <laughs> now eat him. I'm glad to see you safe, my great friend. But the manta is not dead, only stunned. Okay, boss, you are also gray. There will be time for all that later. Right now, there's a city I'm longing to see, and a hero to be thanked. But where were you, and how did Adam find you, and why did you disappear for so long, and how? I said shut up. In a true champion's welcome, Adam rides on the back of King Cetus in a slow procession to the city. Feels weird considering... Cetus bellows an announcement of their triumphant return. Feels weird to ride on the back of Cetus. Although I guess it's not a big deal. Come forth, children. Greet thy king and the boy called Adam. I'm going to be at least at least 11 points short. I think we're skipping past the uh Adam shuffle off puzzle the back of the helped mighty that. Whale and swims to join the happy Allurians. At least 11 points. And I'm pretty sure that I didn't like look at one thing. Like I didn't use the eyeball on one thing. Okay, see this your kingdom is of 1 2 3 4 5 Adam. Oh, I'm so moved. Like ten critters. That's your whole city. Bravo! I knew a strapping lad like you could do it. 
I'm so glad the programmers could be here to, to voice all these lines. Like unbelievably radical, Adam did. Made your way to go. You have proven yourself one with the Greens, Adam. Good show, old boy. Quite spectacular indeed. You're a real hero now, Adam. <laughs> I don't think any of these critters are intelligent enough to know how to breed. It is well that you did the job, Adam, since I did not have the time. You did almost as well as I would have, mon ami. You were very, very brave, Adam. Do not look at that, uh, at, at that manatee butt. Don't look at it. Child of man, to you we owe our lives. Our thanks we now bestow. Adam, you have rescued me from certain death. You have helped put an end to Flesh Eater's reign of terror. My mouth hurts like a bitch. You have Save Illuria from ruin. Good news, I won't be playing EcoQuest 2. EcoQuest 2 is a bad you have game. Made us believe that mankind is perhaps not the enemy we feared it to be. Oh no, it certainly that is. Man can even be a friend. A friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they were mad that mermaids didn't have actual butts, so that's why Thank they gave you, them Great to the manatee. Cetus. I have learned much from all of you too. Here's the shell we gave to the mayor. If you ever need a friend in the sea, blow the conch and help will come. This is kind of like a wish version of Aquaman. Please give back our trident. Poseidon's conch. Wow. Thank you, your majesty. It's okay, we've got more shells in the ocean. Delphinius, I believe your friend could use a ride back to the land of men. He looks a little worn out. Yes, sir, your majesty. Grab a fin, Adam. <laughs> By those fish. Those fish don't even get a name. <laughs> Adam bids farewell to Illyria and King Cetus and grabbing on to Delphinius's dorsal fin, hangs on tight for the long ride home. Delphinius! Blech. Getting dizzy! Yeah, Adam. Blech. Blech. Will I ever see you again? Also, slow down a little. What? Are you kidding? You and your dad, Diver Dan's? You'll see a hundred dolphins in your lifetime, Adam. One of these days, one of those dolphins will be me. Not promising. I love you, Delphinius. Oh, get out of here, you nut, yeah. I love you, too. Aww. Oh, you know what? I never actually have noticed the <laughs> Cetus in the, or the, uh, the Cetus in the sky. I've Let's Played this game, and I've never noticed the, uh, the Cetus in the stars. Whoa, the, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are these credits so fast? <laughs> Vast Norkadin, animators, Russell, shit, get all these down. <laughs> it's so fast. <laughs> these are the fastest credits I've ever seen that haven't been like joke credits. I think it's because I crank speed up to top. Lip syncing. You guys did great jobs. I'm obliged to include them. True. You'd think they'd want to include them, though. They'd want to say, look, Tina Tierhoff did something. I have no idea what it was. Look, Adam Skirvin was something. Delphinius was Brittany. Epidermis, Aronius, Fisherman, Gregorius. A lot of people just had one role. It's interesting. 
for a lot of these games, they get more than one uh, character per voice actor. Adam, Delphinius has been gone for like three minutes, bud. <laughs> Sorry, gotta quit. <laughs> oh, that was good times. Um, hello? There we go. Okay, I think, um, I think I'm going to, uh, call it there. I think I'm going to, it is a little early, uh, but Echo Quest was a little earlier than I thought. So, I've had a lot of fun. I'm going to go give my wife a big smooch on her face. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for, uh, helping me find Cetus. It was certainly an experience. Uh, we will be going back to Redwall later in the week. Uh, we'll be coming back on our normal day of Thursday. Today is not our normal day. Um, but yeah. So thank you. I will see you all later. Love you. Goodbye. I love you, Delphinius. <laughs>